Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. Um, we're gonna eat some ice cream. Don't worry about the outfit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this right here. Let's get the thumbnail. Have one of those days where I don't even shower. As you can tell, I didn't even get ready for the day. I just went right into the day, walked right to my computer. We're here at the, we're towards the end of our time here in this house, but I need to stop for a quick. This is the milk bar ice cream and the flavor pie. Mm. Deep vanilla ice cream with gooey butter filling and toasted oat crust. Girl, you put, you put your foot in this. I think gooey butter cake has a popular flavor from like St. Louis, I believe. But it is buttery, nutty, caramelly, toasty. This is like a millennials butter pecan. It's so good. I only got a little bit left. Don't even. <laughs> it's giving granola bar, but like not healthy. You know when you eat a granola bar and you're like, I literally just ate candy. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, let me get some gel mix. I look, <laughs> I'm just blessed to be a blessing. I just came here to spread the good news. Cause if you're a vanilla girly like me, sometimes people want to shame you like, oh, just vanilla. Yeah, <laughs> don't mess with a good thing. But if you want to just, it's just an elevated, I would never steer you wrong. Delicioso. Mm -mm. Anyway, <laughs> I have some more editing to do. We really put in a lot of work this month, the month of April, to bring Evelyn and friends from like here to here. And then hopefully to here to, to here. That's me, y'all. We're making a sandwich. If you missed my sandwich video, do yourself a favor. Ugh. Pepperoncini. And this is not even what the video's about. Yeah. This is what the video's about. My favorite, one of my favorite sparkling water flavors. I'm gonna review it for you here in this video. I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna get to the review. I need some me time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I've said in these little update mini vlogs so far. It's been a blur. It's also our last full day in this Airbnb. We've been in here for all of April and we are leaving here with four 0.75 episodes of the five pretty much there this month may we are going to work on sound like audio gonna work on color gonna work on music gonna work on calendar all the extras that are going on patreon shout out to cat the animator their deadline is mid-may so once they're done with all the animations, like the branding of Ellen and Friends, the theme song, the transition bumper, Jake Box, that's what May is really for. April was for going from zero to 100. Like what is in each episode? Happy May 1st. I know it's not gonna be May 1st when you see this, but I'm proud of myself in ways that only a few people know. Are you someone who eats all your food before taking a drink? I'm not, I'm just that hungry. We're gonna step outside for the vibes and get into the beverage. Lemon Lime Waterloo. I've done enough sparkling water taste tests to know that people latch on to the bad ones, like the, the times where I didn't like something versus the times that I liked something. This is one that I enjoy. This is similar to LaCroix Key Lime. It tastes like a green Skittle, minus the sugar. It's so like, citrusy and robust but it doesn't taste like lysol which citrus like lemon by itself lime by itself tends to taste like 
life saw, you know what I'm saying? It tends to give, it's the power of pine saw, baby, you know what I'm saying? But together, for some reason, it changes. Something about the flavor profile be changing. This will go great with a cocktail, with a mocktail. Think margarita, think mojito, a Moscow mule, a ranch water. You can make a ranch water. I haven't even tried it with like, with like tahini. I haven't even tried it with that. I have a theory that one of the reasons I like this flavor in particular is that it creates the sensation and the nostalgia behind a crispy, icy Sprite, like a McDonald's Sprite, minus, you know what I'm saying, the pre-diabetes to diabetes pipeline. To test this theory out, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. I have agave. You can use simple syrup. <laughs> this, is, this is science, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's not enough sugar. It's a lot in there. The more I stir it, the more, the flatter it gets. So now it's too sweet. Now it's weird. I'm gonna give that experiment like a solid, like a solid C. We're gonna stick to what we know. Evelyn and Friends uh, episode one and two is LaCroix sparkling water. Episode three, I believe, is chips. Episode four is <laughs> something from the kids' frozen aisle. That's that's your clue. And episode five is keto ice cream. And for the Patreon cousins, y'all get Bleezy Smacks, which is Baby Bleezy, aka Baby Blow, trying out what I tried in the episode. Let's see if this is any better. I'm not sure, but I think this may be my last mini vlog of the month because Evelyn and Friends is coming. But it's been fun. It's been Leo. Thanks for hanging out with me this month. Thanks for checking in on me this month. Being nosy, seeing what I'm, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, what I'm eating. Thanks for listening to my updates. And I will see you on the internet somewhere, but also soon. Bye.